it's Halloween and I'm getting ready for the Pine Lane Elementary Trunk or Treat. What I have here right now is a Harbor Freight trailer, 1750 pound capacity, and uh, I'm going to show you how to put it together. Like bolts. There's your trailer light. Here's your box for trailer lights. That's not trailer lights. There's all the nuts and bolts out looking for you. Came with uh, trailer chains for, uh, for hooking up to your uh, hitch. And these are the nylock. Get up close, I don't know if it'll focus. They have that little nylon ring in there to lock them down. So those will be halfway decent. Uh, nut. I don't know what it says, but it's not grade eight, but it's it'll be it'll be okay. Okay, got a little problem here. Um, Cause I uh, tightened the top before I should only uh, loosely put the nuts in on the top side. Uh, now I'm on the bottom side and I got a big gap here between the uh, the channel and the, and the middle piece. And uh, my screw's not long enough to go all the way through the piece of angle, the channel, and the middle piece and be able to get the nut on so that's problem number one um, I could go through and loosen all the top screws and that would probably get me enough to get the uh, thread started but I think that I can just tighten the rest of the nuts in the corners there and back here and that should flex the uh, channel enough to uh, let me get that nut started, I'm hoping.
All right, first glance, these all look the same. It's a big pile, big bag of bolts. And then I started looking again. I started seeing ones like carriage bolts mixed in there and a couple longer um, hex heads. So be forewarned that there's looks like four long hex heads and four carriage bolts mixed in there with the rest of them. Um, same thread pitch it looks like but uh, different. Makes me wonder if I wasn't supposed to use some of those longer ones on those but I think it'll be okay. So the way this is designed, you can't really hold backups on that nut there and turn the bolt up here because this other bolt's in the way. So if you're building this, I would recommend you put the hinge pins on first before you bolt the trailer together, before you bolt this piece on to this piece because it's going to present me a big pain in the butt getting those hinges on now. Tell from the Chinese drawing, but they're these things. So they're asking for a couple of those. So that's going to be kind of sweet because I can pull these pins. So in the bag of chains, there's two M12 nuts and bolts for putting the tongue pieces onto the chassis. Here they're calling out those bolts that I was having issues with. Um, they're calling out with number 36, which 
now that I got this manual figured out is back here on the back page 36 is a M10 by 30 with an M10 nut so that was the longer ones so that would have solved that problem if I been paying better attention to the directions I may pull those out and put the longer ones in just because I want those vibrating loose You want these hinge pieces, so this is on the uh, far side, or the left side of the trailer, and uh, the mirror to it, which has the then going the other way, it's going to be on the, the right side of the trailer. So at this point, it wants me to flip both things over and put the two bolts in on the hinges, on the hinges, the hinge pin bolts, which are the larger M10 bolts. Um, I think I'm not going to do that because in the right step right after that, they want me to flip it back over. And this thing is freaking getting heavy. bad boys are next. Uh, these are pretty beefy. This is a welded angle iron here. Um, got like four beads along there. This piece is welded good here and here. And then four more beads along the back side of this channel. So this is what's going to be holding the uh, beef spring and the axle. Uh, go ahead and get this installed. Uh, I'm just looking to see how it goes on. This piece here, this piece angle sticking out, goes towards the outside of the trailer.
there's not a bolt on the bottom like there is here. So there you go. Screw it up again. Here's where they're calling out for the uh, carriage bolt. I've made another mistake. Pretty clearly calls out 44 here, which is one of those M10 by 20 longer hex nuts. Hex bolt M10 by 20 and M10 nut. So it's pretty. It's clearly telling me that it wants those longer bolts. Uh, is those hinge pins. Worked up. Oh no, I, oh no, I screwed up. That's me for not understanding metric. Um, these would be 20 millimeter long. These little short ones. 10 millimeters of in diameter, 20 millimeters long. So I screwed up again. I put the long ones into the pins, and I need them for here. Um, but they also have the as of the trailer being bolted together with these short M10s. They didn't mark them as number 44 in the past, so it confused me. So I'm taking those hinge pins back out and putting in the short ones and also bolting the trailer together with the short ones. With those bolts, the trailer's not really foldable because you got to take one, two, three, four bolts out in order to fold it. So I don't know about if I would advertise foldable. Next up is the fenders. We have some nice fenders with a big caution. Do not stand or sit on fender. Ugly, ugly ass sticker because everybody's an idiot. And so they have to be told not to do stupid stuff. Next are the leaf springs. You know, they didn't want this spring steel to get damaged, so they wrapped it up good in bubble wrap. Got some nice, uh, look like nylon bushings in there. So maybe it won't squeak. I wouldn't hold my breath though.
So nylon bushings in one end, just the S-turn on the other end. Looks like the S-turn goes towards the rear of the trailer. Now in this bag of bolts, it has these uh, it's kind of U-bolt kind of things in it. This is sort of going to be for the axle and for the leaf spring. It's also got some big bolts in it. Big, fairly beefy bolts in it. So those are going to be for the leaf springs. Alright, so the nylon pushing the end of the spring goes here. Bolt goes through. That goes on. Then on the other side, we just have another bolt. Okay, this is the end of the axle. Ugh. And I noticed that there are some cotter pins stuck in this wrap, so be careful. You don't lose those guys. A pair of them. So that's the greasy axle rod popping through there. The bearing I pushed back in. Now we take the uh, well, the bearing's not all the way in there, is it? Come on. What in the world? Why won't you go in there? There it goes. There it went all the way in. The castle nut goes on just loosely.
it over. And we'll start doing the wiring. That's the next, we're flipping it over. Yep, flipping it over, putting the lights and the hitch on. So that's that for another day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'm also on Patreon.